What's up Epic Gamers, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a very special video for you guys because we're going to be doing the first ever sneak peek on the channel. And we're going to be taking a look at the new game mode that's coming out in the new process update here, hopefully really soon. It's called Hot Zone, let's take a look at it right now. Alright guys, so at the moment in the developer build there are 5 different maps in the game and obviously things can change. Uh, before it jumps into the game so if we take a look at the maps here we can see hot zone it's got uh, one zone only um, and in the other four actually got two zones and it's all about controlling the zones so the game lasts two minutes and in those two minutes you gain points by controlling the zone so we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay just after we are taking a look at all the maps so here for the last map controller chase let's take a look at the gameplay all right guys we're jumping into some gameplay now here on hot zone and basically you need to control the point in order to get points and the team with the most points they're gonna win so if there is one brawl from both teams inside this zone neither of the teams will actually gain any points and you just need to, to go in the zone for one split seconds to cancel the other teams getting any points um, and it's i would say it's kind of like bouncy and gem grab together in gem grab you need to to hold the control of the middle and here you need to hold the control of, of a zone um, but also, it's got the bounty feel with the stars. Uh, I mean, obviously, that could change since it's only the developer build. But it's it, you need to have a higher score than the other team. So I feel like general or so, now after one minute in the game, if we have more stars than the other team, we're most likely gonna win. Um, except, actually, in the end, there's gonna be 30 seconds uh, where there will be double points. So that is gonna be a big, big help for... for the team that if the team is behind that's going to give the opportunity for them to come back uh, yeah meta wise we're probably going to be seeing some a lot of control brawls probably a lot of uh, turret brawls that that's what i think is going to be really strong here but as you can see here leon or like frank or tanks generally who can just push up in the zone could also be really really strong so here i actually went down to the bots but um yeah, we still have not tried it out in the game, so it might be a lot different uh, when I'm not playing against bots than what it really is. So here we can see it's getting double points. So even if I throw down my turret, it's not going to cancel it out, unfortunately, since I'm playing with uh, Master P. Yeah, but our Frank is going to be able to push up, and yeah, it looks like we're going to be winning this. But you can see double points, how that works. So you don't get double, you don't get two points, but you just get points double so fast. So yeah. Here, it's gonna be a GG for the first game, but you can also see there's no way to end the game any faster. It's gonna just end after the two minutes, so it's gonna be a slow way to push probably, but that's pretty interesting to keep in mind as well. But it's gonna be for sure really, really fun for competitive, I think. Let's take a look at some more gameplay. Alright, so here we are taking a look at now like another map with two points actually, so it's gonna be a lot different here because one team is gonna be going for one of the points and it's all about still holding your own but also uh, trying to get the other team's point uh, or control the other team's zone so that's gonna be super super interesting i think the one with only one zone might be a lot more chaotic and both teams are just gonna be going into the middle all the time just to make sure the other team don't get any points um but actually these maps with two zones they're gonna be super interesting um maybe you're gonna have two brawls on defense and one on offense just trying to cancel the other teams or maybe two on offense only one on defense and but we're gonna like in order to actually hold this zone and you need to be here all the time you're gonna be in a in a pretty small space so brawlers like Brock with a super he can actually force people out of the zone um, same for brawlers like Bo he can shoot very very wide, wide shots and he can also put down his mines that puts control on other people so it's gonna be a very very unique meta here and I mean it's only gonna be uh, a limited game mode at first and there's gonna be some tweaks to it probably and, and then we'll see if it actually stays in the game but from what I've played here I'm super excited about this new game mode and I mean I hope you guys are excited as well let me know down in the comments what you think because I think definitely this has a lot of potential to go and be a really competitive game mode. I don't see any randomness about this game mode uh, actually as like the only game mode uh, uh, with bouncy and highs is the only one that doesn't have any randomness except spawn locations. So it's gonna be a super competitive game mode I think and could maybe even be better version uh, than gem grab to have like as the main game mode in the game. Uh, 
uh, definitely super cool and we have seen it being suggested uh, for a long time so definitely super cool to have it in the game and I'm super excited for you guys to try it as well that is gonna be game here for the second one we actually lost the bot so that is a pretty big rip all right guys just some fun let's try here Mortis with bots uh, in hot zone so we actually gonna go go up against bots here with uh, one tech so I guess that's pretty decent so with Mortis we can get one points before the other teams even up here which is pretty decent also, we'll be able to get from zone to zone here pretty quick, so we could have, for example, uh, made sure they didn't get the other zone. But, example, in this situation, we're still gonna have to stay here in order for us to get points. Um, so, if in case Moses is even strong in this game mode, that's just gonna be a, a buff for tanks, really. So, yeah, I mean, in the end, if Moses is strong, we're probably just gonna be seeing a lot of tanks. So. Yeah, I mean, here against bots for this game, for sure he's going to be really strong. If we don't have this spot, we can go and annoy them. But I think, like, if they have a lot of turrets, let's say Nita Bells and Jesse, turrets down is also going to be a pretty big counter. So, I mean, Mortis, could be really strong for the game mode, but the problem is going to be that Brawlers are, that are strong here is going to counter him. So, I mean, I think he's not going to be viable either, competitive for this game mode. Just because the zones are so small, so we can't really stay in the zone and avoid them in the zone or anything like that. We're gonna have to fight them. And Mortis is, is not really that good for that. You're gonna have to wait for the right opportunities to go in. So, I mean, probably at lower trophies, he could be a really good option to, to get your Mortis a little bit up. But I'm just speaking for competitive eyes. He is, um, he's probably gonna be a little bit too risky for that. So... There's some upsides and some downsides to him, but yeah, I think there's it's just gonna be way too difficult to use him here for this game mode as well. Um, to actually get value from him, uh, like he's just not gonna be as a good option than other bros, I think. Uh, but on the other hand, I think Terra is gonna be a really solid option. In, in this small spot, there's gonna be a lot of people come up, and Terra's gonna be able to get a lot of gold pulls. So let's try Terra against Randoms here. Let's jump into another game. Alright guys, we're going to be trying out Terra now here on a different map, actually going up against a bot Mortis. So, yeah, I mean, the good thing about Terra, I think, and why she's probably going to be the strongest bro in this game, what is going to be her ability to just grab multiple people at once. Because if people, they have to go out of the zone, they're going to be pretty useless. And if there's, there's multiple people in the same zone, she's going to be able to get such easy grabs. And even if there's just one... It's gonna be huge to have that kill uh, to be able to control the zone. If you can have a kill, basically that's gonna secure you a point because people are not gonna have time to rotate over to uh, to avoid the other team getting any points. So you can you can see, it. well, it's against bots right here, so it's not really showing that much. But generally, I think it's gonna be really cool. So I actually went down a lot. Okay, but yeah. I mean, you guys get the point. I think Terra's gonna be strong. She can get easy pulls when people have to be together here. Let's take a look at some of the other brawls in this game mode. All right, the next brawl I think that's gonna be really strong is gonna be Sandy in this game mode because uh, almost the same reason as Terra. I mean, you can put the super down. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on them. But also the good thing about Sandy is you can hit a lot of easy shots and you can hit multiple enemies at once as well. So this turret, the invisibility is not gonna help that much, but we can keep people low. Uh, for a good amount of time uh, or they at least have to fall out of the zone so if, if we're in a fight with someone and we get them low they are actually going to be going down unless they fall out of the zone which can save us some points in the end so we're probably going to be seeing some sandy some terra but let's see let's take a look at some other bros i think that's going to be really strong all right guys the next bro i think is really strong it's going to be 8-bit and i think just generally all of the turret bros is going to be really strong um if you die with them, it's it could be a really big rip, and it might be be super risky to go for them uh, since they can't be countered. But I mean, extra life with 8 bit is especially why I picked them as well. Uh, this extra damage is just gonna be keeping people out, and I don't really have to push up now since I'm already here. So if I can just get in a spot like I am right here, uh, especially on on some maps like this, I can just keep people out so easily, and I'm just gonna be getting points after points. So 8 bit. I think it's gonna be a beast. Um, so yeah, definitely 8 bits my one of my other options, but let's take a look at some more bros. I think it's gonna be strong. Alright guys, the next bro I think is gonna be strong is gonna be Brock. And Brock is just such a good counter to tanks. 
With this long range, you can take down turrets really easily. And as I mentioned earlier in the video as well, with this super heal and blast people in the zone very, very easily, um, since they're gonna be having to be in such a small area. So Brock is gonna be a really good option, I think. And even on maps like this, I can break the middle wall. And breaking wall to your advantage has always been a good thing in every game mode in the game. So definitely Brock is gonna be a solid option, I would say. Let's gonna take a look at one more bra. I think it's got strong. Alright guys, the last brawl that I'm gonna mention that I think is strong is gonna be Bo, and Bo is gonna be strong on this on this game mode, not because uh, he can see in bushes, because I'm actually not even gonna be using that star power, but because he's gonna be able to hit his shot very easily, even if there's multiple targets, just by, by moving uh, to the right side, he can spread his shots, and he's gonna be able to push up there really easily. With his mine as well, he can uh, make sure people can push up him, and even stun them to get a kill when they try to push up, in this small zone so Bo is going to be a great option uh, without his vision even so that's going to be really cool to see since Bo have not really been one of the best options in the game so we can throw down here this and this bots are probably going to walk into it let's see yeah the pogo is going to be stunned there and you can see when a brawl is stunned you can hit the shots very easily and they're going to die so this Leon as well I mean, obviously, people are not gonna walk into the mines like right here uh, for real games, but I mean, people are gonna have to watch out for them, and that's gonna also mean a lot. So, Bo is gonna be my last pick for Bros. I think it's gonna be really strong in this game mode, and that is gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are excited for the new game mode. That's gonna be it for now. Bye.